So today we're going to do a quick review of different fans that I tried with the Replicator 2 MakerBot 3D printer. This one here I actually purchased for $6.99 plus shipping. I think it came to about $11.50. Uh, they claim that the low noise 26 decibels, 5 CFM, 24 volts, and it's 0.15 amp. It doesn't come with the correct plug for the MakerBot, but it's easy to put the stock plug on there and just solder it. So, this one does say it is a ball bearing fan. The other one I tried was this one from Shofin Lu, and it's also the same. It'll take 0.1 to 0.2 amperage, uh, 24 volts, and this is a 6 CFM. And these guys claim that the noise decibel rating is at 23 decibels. So the object was to find a fan compatible with the MakePot replicator printer that was quieter. And this one went for $10. And that was actually ten dollars for two. So this does come with the correct plug for the MakerBot replicator, and I can show you that over here. Actually, this is it right here. That's the same plug that the stock fan has on it. Here's your stock fan. Now the only difference is that I see is they, they claim it's 26 decibels, they claim this is the ball bearing, 23 decibels. Uh, MakerBots is 5.7 CFM, so the cheap one for one, you know, two for $10, 6 CFM, and the ball bearing fan, 5 CFM. Although I find they all work good. Uh, 5 CFM, the only downfall is it takes longer to cool the extruder down after you're done printing. The positive side of that though is the fact that your extruder heats up faster but it does maintain temperature. I've been using this for the last 60 hours of printing on my Replicator 2 and it has absolutely no problem maintaining temperature. Now I will note in the description of the 2 for 10 they describe it as a sleeve bearing. The word bearing kind of leads you to believe ball bearing quieter fan and they even say 23 decibels so they're saying it's actually quieter quieter than this supposed 26 decibel ball bearing fan. Okay, so to find out exactly which fan is quieter, we have our MakerBot stock, our 2 for 10 that comes with the correct plug, and our ball bearing fan that you have to rewire the plug for. Let's start off with the stock MakerBot. Our baseline on our sound meter here, we'll call it 48. So this is the MakerBot fan. Coming in at 73, so it's about a difference of 25 decibels to the baseline. The 2 for 10 deal, 6 CFM, 24 volt, 0 0.15 amp. This is like the stock fan. You have to let it run for a bit to actually increase speed. Call that 74. That would be for a difference of 26 decibels. Which I think that's what they rated it at was 26. And the ball bearing fan. Call that sixty seven. Okay. So there you have it. The one for one replacement. 
two for ten dollars in free shipping, but it takes a little bit to come from the APAC region. If you live in the United States, it might be three or four weeks. Uh, also gives a description of sleeve bearing, but there is, make no mistake about it, there is no bearings in here at all. I'm not a ball bearing fan. I don't know why they give that description. I can confirm that because I've already taken it apart and it's nothing but a brass bushing, maybe self lubricating, maybe not. I don't even know to tell you the truth. There was a lot of grease on there previously, so probably not even self lubricating. But for a quick, easy swap to a you know two for ten, you you got to replace one, and you have a spare one on the side. Probably at least half the cost of what Mechabot would charge you for one fan. So not a bad deal in that aspect, and it has about the same level of noise as the stock fan, actually. Just very, very little little higher than the actual stock fan, not by much. The stock fan, you already own one. You know enough about these. You also know the failure rate on them is kind of high. And the ball bearing fan. The beautiful thing about the ball bearing fan is actually it has ball bearings and it is 5 CFM and the extruder heats up quicker but cools down slower. So the benefit is you do get to start printing faster but you have to wait for it to cool down before you shut the machine off afterwards. Also 24 volts, 0 0.15 amps. It does not come with the correct plug, but with a little simple wiring and the fan that is acting up or the one that you don't want anymore, the loud one, or maybe you already have one of these other fans laying around with the same kind of plug on it, you can wire it up and make it fit. It's actually better that way because you can fit this piece up into the wiring harness much further up when you uh, feed it through. So I did like that. I got about 50, 60 hours of printing on this already and it's been quiet. And if you have a Replicator 2X with the door shut and the hood on, you can't even hear the fan. It's amazing. And it maintains temperature well and does a good job. So in fact, they all maintain temperature well. I should note that even though this is 6 CFM, which is slightly more airflow than the actual stock Replicator fan, um, it still does maintain temperature well too, but your heater core may actually kick on more often. This one, your heater core probably kicks on less often, but everything's got a trade-off. So there you have it. If you, I'm going to put the links in the description for, well, not all three because MakerBot doesn't sell this fan on their website for some reason. Uh, I couldn't find it, but I'll put a link in the description to these two on Amazon. By the way, I'll also note in the description as well that this one was bought by Hanlon Electronics. So I'll put that in the description as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or anything to say, please go ahead and note it in the comment section. Feel free to subscribe. I'll be doing more videos like this. If you didn't like what I had to say and have something negative, go ahead and leave a comment as well. I really don't care, so I'm not going to read it anyway. All right, bye.